Hi, welcome back to Thrifty and OKC. I am gonna do a kind of quick little jewelry haul for you and show some of the cool jewelry that I found lately. I think I said in a couple of my last videos, I've been working on buying some things that are smaller just because as you can see from the massive lot of clothing behind me, I have a lot of clothes. I love to sell clothes, but they take up a lot of room. Um, the only downside that I'm finding with selling jewelry is that because it's kind of a one size fits all, I tend to buy things that I like and then I can't decide if I want to sell them or keep them. So most of the stuff, some of it might get listed, some of it might be keepers, but I thought I found some cool stuff so I just thought I'd share it with y'all real fast and hopefully you enjoyed looking at my jewelry. So let's see, let me start out. So these I got um, at the thrift store. I don't remember how much I paid. I love, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I have lots of wooden necklaces um, and things. And I'm, my Instagram is Lucky Thrift OKC, it, to be more confusing. Thrifty in OKC here and Lucky Thrift there. But these are my little wooden parrots. So hopefully that's focused. I don't know. Um, I love wooden jewelry, especially parrots for some reason. I don't know. So I could not leave those behind. I thought those were pretty pretty cool. Excuse me. Um, these I got at a garage sale. Very 80s. I haven't looked at them very close. I don't think there's any markings on them, but I like big gold. I, I really love just big jewelry, big tchotchke jewelry. Those are not, a, I got more tchotchke than that. Um, I paid like a dollar for those. So that was a good deal. I paid like a dollar for these. I thought these were really cool. They're cufflinks. They're vintage cufflinks that say hi-fi. And then they have the M for Motorola on them. And I thought those were super cool. My husband doesn't really wear cufflinks, so those will probably get listed somewhere. Um, I got the same brooch at the same garage sale. This was a dollar as well. No markings on it, but I probably have like a hundred brooches in my personal collection. And I just, I love them. I love to cluster them together like on a jean jacket or a blouse. I even like to do the 80s where I wear it, you know, like on my collar. Probably not this one, but some on my collar. So I couldn't pass that up. This was really interesting. I think these are like a resin, maybe. I don't know how well you can see those. Um, but it's kind of a little choker. The beads are almost like they're painted or something. I just thought it was different and interesting. Again, a buck, so I couldn't pass it up for a dollar just to bring home. Um, these next few I got at the flea market, so I paid a couple of bucks for those. I thought this was a really cute necklace. It's got lots of like little sea life, little shells, and little um, starfish on it. Again, a really good statement piece. I have a similar one to this, but I think this was just like $2. I couldn't pass it up. Another fab pair of big silver post back earrings. No markings, but really lightweight, um, which I like. And these, again, wood. I love these wooden vintage earrings. I have them in red. There was a turquoise pair that I meant to pick up and I forgot and got home and I was so upset because they're you think they'd be easy to find. They're really basic, but they're really not. Um, I shop a lot and I don't see them very often. So that's just a basic wooden pair that I like. And again, I think I got like the necklace and those two for like four or $5 for all three. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, this is a necklace I also got at the flea market. This is a Zara necklace. It's got its little tag there, but I love this. I think this is just fabulous and big and sparkly. Ooh, sparkly. Um, yeah, I could not, definitely could not leave that behind. Again, I would probably wear it maybe under a basic collared shirt, even just like a white shirt with a black pant or a dark jean. And this just let this be like your statement. It's so pretty. It's got some little birds and things. And I think, I mean, I've looked really close. I think it's got all its stones. So I paid five bucks for that. So I felt like that was a steal. Um, and then the rest of these earrings I got at the Goodwill, which I feel like the Goodwill is getting a little pricey here. It's like $3.33, which I know compared to the mall is not a bad deal. But when I can pick stuff up at the flea market for a buck or garage sales for a buck, I'm always like, oh, $3.33. Um, seems like a lot. But there was a lot of these kind of 80s looking clips that I really liked. Um, a couple posts and I could not pass up. So I got this. I don't, oh there. I'm like, I don't know where this other earring is. These little guys I listed in my Etsy shop because I thought they were cute and I probably won't wear them. They're not big enough for me. 
Um, but they're little cat faces. So hopefully, again, the camera's focused and you can see the little cats. And they are at like a po post clip bag. I don't know what you call that one. Uh, but anyway, so they're very lightweight. Um, silver, you know, none of these have any markings. My guess is they're probably all handmade, but they I felt like they were really cool. So this has like a little moon on it with a little cat and some hearts. I really liked that. I'm not sure if these are keeping or getting listed somewhere, but I really liked those. I thought they were cute. And two, to, two together. So there you can see. Ooh, I don't know if you can see like the little crystals at the bottom have rainbows. Um, these definitely look handmade, but they have like a bee or a dragonfly maybe and a butterfly. But again, big statement. I love the big statement. So I got all these together and I'm guessing somebody liked to make earrings. Although I don't know, the backs of these don't look, I don't know, no markings though. So there they, there they are. If anybody recognizes anything or thinks they're made by somebody, let me know. Um, these are actually stamped 925. These are a little swirly earring. These I'll probably keep, but just a very basic. Ooh. These are my two favorites of the whole lot. So I feel, I don't know. I feel like these look very dynasty or something, but they are a clip, um, drop, big old drop earring. And I just, I mean, I love them. They have the, all the stones and they're all in there. Again, no marking, maybe handmade, don't know, but I just, I, I couldn't pass these up. I just, I think these are awesome. I'm not sure if I will ever wear them, but I love them. But this is my very favorite of everything. Um, so just like I like wood and I like, um, parrots. I also like fruit. <laughs> and these were too cute. These are a little palm tree with um, all kinds of little fruits dangling. So there's bananas and pineapples and grapes. And I just, they're lightweight, but they're still a clip. Um, again, I'm guessing they're handmade. If you look at the back, it kind of looks like the back clip part is glued on. That doesn't bother me. I don't mind something handmade, but I mean, these are going to look really really cute for the summer so I was really excited this was the first pair that I found and then this is the second pair that I found and I was like Jackpot! um so that's it that's my little jewelry haul of what I've gotten lately in jewelry I hope you enjoyed it if you see something that you just love um feel free to reach out to me or like I said if you're not following me on Instagram check it out I usually list a lot of the stuff I usually show a lot of the stuff that I'm listing in my shop before I list it so if you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe. Thanks so much. See you next time.